Okay, welcome to part 6 of this one's totally building design in Bota structure and today I'll be showing you how to apply, how to insert your wall load and also how to analyze and design for this one story building right here in Bota structure. So I will say that if you have not watched the part 1 to part 5 of this video, I will say you check on the video description and you will see all the link where you can watch the part 1 to part 5 of this video because this is a complete video of to how to design a concrete building in Bota structure. So right now, to now insert your wall load because you can see that if you check on this our plan right now, there is a wall on all the edges, on all on all the beams. All the beams are, are carrying wall load. So right now we we'll have to input that wall load right now. So to input a wall load right now, just click, just go to story 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 one, and then right click on one of the beam, right click, and then um click on this place called insert um. Um, this place called edit beam wall load right now. So if I click on this place right now, and then what will happen right now is now we will have to impute your wall unit weight. I will say you should use this value. This value is, is a is a default value which, which I'm trying to use right now. This 3.47 is a default value for a wall unit weight. It is a standard wall unit weight for all nine inches block wall or for a wall of two to five. Um, with block wall. So use it as 3.47 as your wall unit weight and also you also on this your wall height right now Your wall height is your building height. So you have to check your own building height What is the height of a building of which the common height of building is always three meters? So since you have um, and in this case our height of building is three meters now right now We since our building is three meters right now. We have now to remove the depth of this um, of this um beam right now because you know that our our wall our, our our concrete block wall we have to sit from this beam up to the edge up, up, up to the bottom of, of this beam so right now since our story is three meters from here to here we have now going to subtract this this beam depth so right now if we minus 300 right now from our value we have 2.7 so 2.7 is the area where block wall is trying to occupy it like we sit so right now we have to put here right now as our wall in, as our wall height to be 2.7 meters right now and our our block thickness in meter is 0 0.225 because we are using the 225 which is 90 block wall right now so we will now have to now go here right now and click on okay once i click on okay right now you will see that you will see your block wall right now. Just show right now at this very end here. So click OK right now, and then you are and then you are seeing right now your block wall directly right now. As you can see it here right now. So you can see your block wall right now, right here. So right now, since we have done it right now, we will now have to now and copy right now. Click at this place which I've already done your block wall loading. I click right now and then copy. You can see here copy block wall load beam wall load. Sorry. So you click on this right right, right now. If I click and say copy beam wall load right now. Then go here right now. Since our since all our beams right now is having a wall load on the first floor as you can see it here right now. So click on this place right now and click on the first beam right here right go down right now and click on the last beam right now and all your beams right now for that particular story will be set, set will be set will, will be highlighted right now and then you now have to now right click right now and say paste copied beam load automatically right now just say yes and all the beams right now will now have a wall load as it here right now so all the beams now have a wall load as you can see it here right now all the beams have a wall load right now as you can see it here both the internal ones have a wall load as you can see them right now so this how to create your wall load on your beam right now for, for your building right now so before you must begin to um, design your building you have to create this wall load and now we will now since we already know that the height of the building right now is three meters up here and the, and the down floor is 3.15 meters so we'll go here right now now and input our our wall our our story heights by using this place called edit story right now so we will have to now go here right now our first floor uh, which which is the ground floor has a height of 3150 and the first floor has a height of 3 meters so just put that right now and this building has has a has a dpc level of 450 millimeters so put it here right here right now dpc of 450 i would say you should leave this foundation depth as default as 1.1 millimeters meter as you see it here because foundation depth can change at size so just leave it here as default only impute your your dpc which is called on this software first story button level but this is actually a dpc level so once you have imputed your 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 ground floor story height and your first floor story height and your dpc then just click on what they call okay now if it now once i click on okay right now you see that there will be a change of height of this building right now so okay right now and, and, and then click on yes and just watch here right now you can see that the building have increased in height so right now once you have done that right now it is not time for you to now go and do not go and analyze your building and not design your building right now. So just click on what they call save first to save your changes because right now we are trying to enter into the building into the building 
design stage right now. So right now, once this, this saving is done right now, we will not click on what they call analysis right now. So let us hold on for this saving to complete right now. And then while it is saving, I will say you should click on the subscribe button to um, um, subscribe to our channel Ekidel and also click on the like button to like this video and also share this video on also on all your um, platforms if you're on Facebook and um, Instagram and also Twitter and also recommend your, our channel to your friends so that they can also learn how to um, design concrete building. Okay, so let us hold on for it to finish right now. And uh, let us hold on right on for it to finish right now. Okay. Why it is saving? I want to greet my friends from Nigeria. I want to greet all my subscribers in Ghana, Tanzania, Dubai, India, and also UK. Okay, so right now, once you're done saving right now, you will not, not click on what they call analysis tab right here, and then click on bid analysis as you can see it here right now. So once you click that right now, and this level appears right now, you will now have to go and click on this place called edit material. It is here that you cannot choose your grade of concrete and your grade of steel. So click on this place right now called edit materials right now, where you will now have to go and choose your grade of concrete and your grade of steel. Okay, so right now, let us just choose right now. Now, on this place right now, just click exactly what I'm clicking. Don't click anywhere again. Let me just close right now. Once you click on this, once this place appears right now, this little level appears, Click on what I'm clicking. Leave all other tabs as default because most of you from, from you guys have been asking me on WhatsApp, you have been clicking on this area. Don't click on this area at all. Once this dialog box appears, once you click, let me just close right now. Once you click on this place analysis tab and click on this analysis right now, just touch this area which, are, which I'm touching right now. Leave all that place as default because you don't know what's happening there. So you just click on this place called edit materials right now and then click at this place called this place is called um, concrete grade right now. I will use concrete grade of 20 and 25 for this for this whole building. So I'll click on this place. Most people use this and it is also okay. If you use 16 and 20, it is also okay. But my own case, I'll use 20 and 25 for this building, for, for this case right now. And I'll click on this place called apply to all to all members of concrete and I'll click on what they call OK. So the, it now apply to all members right now for all the concrete grade and then here on the steel grade right now, I will say you have different kind of steel grade, you have grade, grade, 20, grade 250 which is not OK to be used again on concrete structure but right now you have 450 and 460. I will advise you, you should use 4, 410 because 460 is a very high grade of, of, of a steel and, we, and, and maybe you, you do not trust the company that is producing this steel. So you don't use the highest T grade. I'll say you should use this T grade of 410 and then click on this place called apply and then click on what they call OK. Now, now you now have now start selecting the size of reinforcement that you want to use for each of your members for, for column, for beams and for um, and for links and for also for and also for foundation also. So right now I click on this place right now called re, uh, rebar diameters for, for, for column. I'll say for column, click here first and select all and also select all again and then for columns also always use diameter of at least minimum diameter of of um, of rebar or of or let me say of reinforcement of 16 and also choose again 20 and also choose your maximum 25 so if there is any failure if 16 is not able to carry the um on um, the load for the column reinforcement it should use 20 and if 20 is not and if 20 is still too small it should use 25 so 25 is the maximum so right now just click on ok right now and then we don't have a concrete wall concrete wall is mainly used for a lift wall or let me say where you, where you have a lift but in this building there is no lift so i'll skip concrete wall area and then go to beam directly and choose my um rebar diameter for concrete beam right now and then i'll also choose here again select all and select all again and then for beam also do the same thing for column as you for column so use minimum rebar diameter as 16 and also 20 and then choose 25 or so not 25 not 24 25 and then click on what they call okay right now and then right now we go over to slab right now you can see slab here right now we go to slab rebar right now we all know that slab slab reinforcement is always used as diameter um, 12 most people use 10 but that's very dangerous to use 10 because um i'll say that you use for slab use only diameter 12 and then click on what they call okay right now and then we don't have a rib slab on this building so next thing i to do right now is not click on the links right now on the links right now choose for for the ray bar link click on the ray bar link here you can see it here we um, ray bar diameter right now for the links as you can see it here this this is for the links choose just i'll say first of all click here and this let again and then choose um eight and ten so minimum link is to be eight and maximum is to be ten as you can see there right now, and then click on what they call OK right now. Now, this is all you have to do right now. Now, go to foundation place right now. On the foundation area right now, 
choose your um, country grade for foundation and choose this thing thing right now and say apply to all and do this right now and then for the steel grade of foundation also use this same four ten and then just say okay and then for the rebar and for the bar diameter for the foundation i'll say she just select here and let since it is one story building right now our advice if it's for one story building use your minimum to be 12 diameter 12 and maximum to be diameter 16 and then click on what they call okay okay and then right now we're gonna move right now for links for the foundation if it has and then click on this place right now choose the minimum eight and maximum them the 10 and then click on what they call okay right now and then click on the final okay right now and then we have set all our members and grade right now then click on this place called um parameters right now and these parameters right now you just go here directly right now in this place called foundation now if you are now if you are using uk or if you want to use american code you can also choose your change your code here but right now we want to use british code of practice so leave everything here as default right now and then go here to foundation right now and then input your bearing capacity so in this case right now the bearing capacity of this building is 150 millimeter 150 kilometer per meter square so you have to go and check your own soil test to choose bearing capacity now if you don't have your soil test i would say you you can um contact us and we will we, we we have average bearing capacity for most of the cities in most areas in africa in nigeria ghana and most places so we have the bearing capacity of those areas so we can contact us on whatsapp and then we will guide you on how to choose the bearing capacity of that area so but in this but i would advise that if you don't have your soil test i would say you should you, you should contact your client and request for the soil test it's always good to have your soil test to have the bearing capacity for it to be safe in your design so i would advise you to go and um Ask your client for the soil test and for the soil bearing capacity of that area. Okay, so right now just input your, your, your bearing capacity here, which is allowable soil stress. In this case, it's 150 in our own case right now. And then go over here right now to title right now and input the title of the project header. This project code right now is one story building. So we are doing for one story building design. So I'll just say one story, one story building design, one story building, building design, design. And our client's name is Caleb, sorry, design. And our client's name is Mr. Caleb. So I'll just do for Mr. For Mr. Sorry, Mr. Caleb. Caleb. Sorry, Caleb. For Mr. Caleb John. So this is our client's name right now. And then we go here right now, and you can see that I say made by my name is Engineer Justice Walker. So I am the one designing for this torture. So I'll say engineer justice justice Mwaka. okay and then this is checked by you know someone must check your drawing must check your design so my checker my the name of my superior is engineer peter so i'll just put here i'll just put his first name only engineer sorry engineer peter sorry engineer peter so i'll put only his first name and leave the other name and then right now this is the project number i'll say you can just put anything right here on this place right now you can just form your own number i'll just put one zero one and then um, zero zero and then on this place right now and then this is the project date so the date which i'm joining for this building right now is the um 20 29th day 29th day of august 2022 so i'll just put the date here right now of august stroke 2022 okay so this is date right now i'm not click on what they call okay right now now right now you now have naga in and now click on this place called loading combination right now so i'll click on this place right now called loading combination right now and then i'll click on this plate called loading generator right now and then right now since this building is less than 10 meters high when your building is more than 10 meters high you have to apply a wind load but since this building is less than 10 meters i can see that this building is just 6.6 .6 meters high so there is no need to apply apply a wind load else i would have checked this place called wind load but since this building is less than 10 meters high i will not input a wind load so i'll just go back here right now and then click on what they call okay and automatically you will now see your loading combinations here and then i'll click on don't click on this load case most people make mistake to go and click on this place load case don't click on this place just click on what i'm clicking right now and then click on what they call okay and then since there is no wind load on our structure i will not click on this place as i would have shown you how to apply wind load and also if you want to know how to apply wind load i would say you should check on our previous videos we have we, we have a building design here of about a story building we have applied our wind load and you can check it that that building is is is, is in design from start to finish so check it out right now and you can also see how to apply wind load okay so right now again i also go here right now so once you're done right now 
on this place right now as you can see it here right now okay and then you can go here right now and click on this place called analysis and then on this place right now just check on these two beam design and column design right now and leave every just leave all these ones right now once you check these two right now you can also choose here right now to, to also reselect bar if there is any failure it should change the it should, it should get an increase to the to 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 a higher bar so right now once you check this one two and three four right now i would not say you gonna go here right now and click on this place called model check this model check is just to check if there is any overlapping but i'll say you should just leave it if there is anything and then click on this plate called start once you click on this start button right now it will start the building it will start the building design right now so i click on the start button right now and let's wait for it to perform the building analysis and design as you can see here right now so let us wait for it to finish right now, now it's trying to check the member connectivity now it's performing the building analysis and design right now so let us hold on right now and you will see that it will take in less than four minutes to perform all the building design analysis right now so you cannot see what what is doing right now now it's trying to design for the for the beam right now so if you have not subscribed to our channel ekidel i would say you please click on the subscribe button so you don't miss all the full part of this video and our channel is called ekidel and it is spelled e-k-i-d-e-l okay so right now you can now go here right now and click on okay it is done it took only 29 seconds to perform the whole building design so we cannot click on what they call okay and then click on what they call close right now so with this right now you can now go right now and go and check your building model if it's okay now on this place you can now go here right now and check on this place called active window settings and vision navigation so we click on this place right now you have to check and what member is okay and the one that fails so we'll go here right now and check your design status right now as you can see here right now that all our members are showing green right now now even if your members are showing green now green means that your design is perfectly okay as you can see here right now so all our members both the beams both the columns and the beams are showing are showing green means that they are all perfectly okay now even if your members are showing okay there's what they call interactive design then you have to start checking your members one after the other so you have to check your you have to check your members your beams one to, to see the kind of um, reinforcement the column uses to pass that particular member so in my next video i will show you how to check your reinforcement members you can see there right now that this passed with them that the team but we use them that um 12 um, um 16 so after that increase to 16 right now right now you can see there right now change to 16 and then come here and say update as you can see there right now so you cannot see that um it is good to check your b one order right now so in my next video i will show you how to check all this to check the reinforcement on each of the member as a good engineer you have to check your members you you, you have to check the reinforcement that, that that this software uses to pass your beans for you so in my next video it will be on how to check interactive design to check these members of the reinforcement for each of the members one after the other so right now just what okay right now so right now i will show you in my next video how to check each of the members and we'll also see the kind of reinforcement that was used to design for the column and for the beams and for the slab and also in my next video also we will also perform the slab de detailing so we have come to the end of this part says which is to which is to insert the wall load and also analyze and design for this structure so right now we will move on to the part seven right now for this structure right now thank you so much for being to the end of this video and god bless you all